Hey guys, and welcome to something that is new for Marketing in the Madness. So these episodes are coming to you in collaboration with Madfest. As part of that collaboration, I am going to be interviewing some incredible female leaders, female founders, and men across the industry who are leading the charge and leading the change in our industry that will enable women to reach their full potential and address the long-standing inequalities that still exist, not just in the marketing industry, but across every single industry. So if you're interested in joining me and helping make the world a fairer, more inclusive place, then keep listening because today's episode is going to be a cracker. Hey guys, and welcome back to Marketing in the Madness. Now, today's episode is my short episode, which which I feel like should be longer. It's about the female leadership content that I create in collaboration with the Female Leaders Club, which is part of Madfest. And this week I have the fantastic Richard Sermon from Crew Clothing. Well, actually now heading up lots of different retail brands. Rich, do you want to yeah. riff off some of the retailers sure, that yeah, you're yeah, leading I'm, tech strategies for? Yeah, I now look after Crew Clothing, Pringle of Scotland, Ben Sherman and Salt Rock. Yes, so quite a lot of male-focused yeah, brands. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. I mean, not that that necessarily means anything, no. because what I'm more interested in is the world of work, marketing, tech, digital, IT, and what that means for us women in the workplace and how we can empower more women. Now, of course, over to Rich now. Um, in the world of tech and IT especially... It is quite male dominated. Yeah. So you're working for businesses that are male focused and potentially male dominated in the tech and IT space. I'm not being mean to you, by the way. No, no, no. (laughs) It's it's a reality. (laughs) Um, Yet, and I think people forget this, probably a lot of the purchasing decisions on the website are probably still being made by women, Mm, even though it's for men. Because often us, yeah, I think something like, the stats are something crazy, like 70% of the purchasing decisions, especially when it comes to, you know, fashion and retail side of things are made by women, even yeah. if predominantly you set you, you provide clothing for men because, you know, us, us women rule the roost, really, let's yeah, be honest. Absolutely. So tell me about your experience and are you seeing change? Because, you know, go back 10, 20 years, I had in the event I did this morning, so time stamping this, it's International Women's Day, 8th of March, 2024. I hosted a fantastic event at the Gherkin this morning, actually with some other retailers. Um, a lady joined us from uh, Deckers who own mm. Ugg and yeah, Hocker. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. in the tech team. Oh, and she was talking about, she's going to come on the podcast soon nice. too. Um, she was talking about, you know, how 10 years ago, like literally it was, people would like be like, oh, you're, a woman and you're in the tech team like it was it was that maybe not she didn't say exactly that but like you know she'd be at conferences and they'd be like turn left for tech turn right for project management and marketing and all the women turned right and she would be the only woman turning left like the world is getting more focused on tech so I'm hoping that you're seeing some differences but I'd love to hear it from Rich's point of view like what are you seeing are there anything that you're doing within the businesses to empower more women Yeah, yeah sure um, yeah, I, I, how long have I been in IT now? 25 ish years. Oh God, I'm getting old. Um, <laughs> I know it's scary when you think yeah, about how long you've been at work. When I started, you're right, it was very male orientated. I have started to see a shift over the last probably three or four years where more females are getting interested in tech and innovation. And I'm starting to see a lot more applicants come through that are female, which is, I find, really, really positive and empowering. And I'm quite an advocate of bringing people up through their career paths. And I get told off quite a lot in the business as well, because I tend to poach people from other departments. (laughs) Um, And that does tend to be female because obviously, you know, buying and merchandising is very female driven from a fashion retailer perspective. Um, They're one of my pivotal ones I go to and go, do you want to become a business analyst and do what you do on a day job, but just be a bit more processy? And I think that's the way to empower people just to 
look at how they operate within a business and start to give them a bit of an idea about what could they actually be doing within other departments and how could their career develop over time. And uh, I, I like to see that inception and growth through to the point where I've had um, three or four junior business analysts join me who are female over the last three years. They have either been promoted from within in my department. So I've got, um, I've got business, they've gone from junior to business analysts. Obviously, sadly, they do hit their peak at my operation. And if I haven't got a role for them to grow into, I like to see them mature elsewhere outside of the business. And I've had a couple of my team who were female business analysts who have gone on to be consultants at quite big businesses, which I find really, really positive. I think I think that's probably where we can make the change mainly. Yeah. Um, it, it's all about just getting out there and talking to people, in my view, and giving people the opportunity to come and do it. I think you've got such an innovative outlook I mean obviously we've spoken about the technology stuff earlier and how you go and investigate those those new technologies but I think it's the same with you know providing and inviting and you know pushing you know women out of their comfort zone sometimes yeah. saying come and look at this that I know you may not have considered it before but how about you yeah. try this because you know I think sadly we're kind of you know we've got a legacy of hundreds and thousands of years of you know the world being very different to how we now want it to be and not being fair let's yeah. be honest yeah. and you know a lot of the thinking that we've been, you know even actually my my grandma wasn't like this but you know, I speak to lots of other women and their grandma you know oh that's not for your IT is a man's job or you know so it's yeah. just it's kind of it's we're still living that so mm -hmm. we've yeah. got to I think you know as male allies um and as women as well, like push people outside of their comfort zone going, look, you know, no, that's absolute rubbish. Yeah. Come and try it. Yeah. I think you'd be really yeah, exactly. good at this because yeah. that's where the magic and the innovation truly happens. It's when you put people in places that maybe they don't want to be in or they haven't thought about before. Or yeah, I think it's, you've got such a great attitude when it comes to yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, don't get me wrong. There are still people that go, oh, IT. You know, yeah, I don't boy. want to be sat there fixing yeah. <laughs> a printer and, I, and it's going, it's not just about the getting down, you know, fixing a laptop or fixing a printer. That's, that's only a small percentage of what IT does these days. You know, uh, what our role is, is helping to deliver for each department within the business and make their job easier. You know, a lot of it is sit down next to somebody map out what they're doing on a daily basis and what bits of that could we improve from an IT perspective. So it's all about process, logical. If you've got a clear, logical mind, you can do it. Yeah, 100%. So I'm going to ask one last question because this is, you're, you might even be able to guess what I'm going to ask. Maybe you listeners can guess what I'm going to ask. I think the biggest change that needs to happen, there's lots of changes that needs to happen, but we need to get men to see it from women's perspectives. Yeah. Um, we need more male allies to help us, especially, at, I would say, in the tech and the IT sector. So are there any initiatives that you've seen, things that you have done yourself, things that you have within any of the businesses that you think are good or that you would like to do or that you think could help uh, sorry I, I appreciate I'm really putting you on the spot here no no that's, that's what the podcast that's totally is all fine. about yeah yeah all over it um I like being put on the spot good um yeah that's a very good one very very good one I I completely agree there is a lot more that needs to be done without a doubt and I would say that you know in my experience there hasn't been a lot of focus on this. Um, and I think a lot of the time it is purely recruit, 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 replace. It's what we need to do to get out of that mindset and start to make things more appealing to people. Um, you know, I, I think probably when you're recruiting, you need to have a bit more of a selling campaign about mm. why do I want to come and work for that brand but also what do I want to do in that brand and why do I want to do that role um I think that 
that would probably be a key thing and make that female focused you know start to do like a sales pitch about this is us this is what this is what we're about have a video that is presented as part of the job application process to give people that are applying for the jobs more of a feel and start to get out there with the female audience a little bit more i think that would be a big driver yeah humanizing it a bit more yeah, yeah, yeah. because i think there's a lot of awareness especially around IT and tech that needs to happen as, as we move into a more techie world, then mm. it's going to happen. There's going to need to be more females you know, leading tech totally. and IT strategies. So yeah. it's enabling and showing them. And that starts at a really young age as well, at school probably, yeah. you yeah. know, to to get them interested and get them engaged. I would engaged. agree with that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Rich, thank you so much. I have loved recording with you Thanks today. For me. Um, I know that the dial is going to change, and we've got fantastic male allies that are behind us, like you. Yeah. We're going to be there. So, Let's yeah, go. a huge thank you for joining thank you. me. Excellent.